Well, hello, boys and girls. Welcome to Storytime with Pastor Steve. I am so glad you tuned in, and I hope you had a, a great Easter day. It was a wonderful, sunny, warm day, and I know it was a great day to be outside and to see uh, what flowers are popping up, and, and hopefully you got to play in the yard or maybe go to the park. Uh, but a wonderful day, and we celebrated uh, Jesus being with us always. Well, I've got a great story for you a little bit later on, but I thought I'd first play a little, little tune on the banjo, if you don't mind. <laughs> from Germany. It was written there and they translated it from German into English. So I will read the English version because I don't know German. And it is called The Song of Spring. And it's all about a little bird and, uh, and trying to remember what that bird's song is. You know, every bird has a different song, you may notice. And you can listen for that when you go outside next. And uh, this bird gets some help from some neighbors. So here we go. As spring approaches, the birds begin to sing, whistle, and chirp so they can attract new friends. So there's a tree full of all different kinds of birds. When Mr. Blackbird sings the Blackbird song, Mrs. Blackbird comes flying by. It's the same with the robins and all the other birds too. With this little bird though, it was different. He could not remember his song of spring. That's a funny way for a bird to perch on the branch upside down. But because he wanted to find a friend, he hastily opened his beak one day and shrieked. Woof. That wasn't right, huh? Woof, woof, answered a dog and came running over to the bird and wagged its tail. Well, that wasn't quite right, thought the little bird. We'll have another go, said the dog. And so the little bird cried out, boink. Oops, said the little bird. But you are not a bird. No, said the pig. I am a pig, oink, oink. That's what happens when you give the song for the pig, the pig comes. The little bird thought a bit. The pig and the dog had not been that much help at all. And so he shouted, moo. I think you know what's gonna happen next. Moo said the cow. Bird with great big eyes, little bird sitting. That big cow makes the bird look a lot smaller. Well, the cow was mooing, the dog was barking, the pig was grunting. The little bird just could not concentrate.
And so the bird said, meow. Oh, said the little bird and slid back a little bit on the branch. The cat purred softly and said, hello, little one. The pig, the dog, the cow, and the cat scrambled about up in the tree. The bird thought hard and then sheepishly called out, meh. I wonder what's gonna come. Did you just say meh? The little bird and he blushed a lot. That's what happened. He called the goat. Now I have it, said the bird. Nervously, the goat, the pig, the cow, the cat, and the dog looked on. And the bird chirped. Ah. <laughs> well, you sang that beautifully, said the friendly donkey. I am looking for a bird friend, moaned the little bird sadly, but it is not working out. Here we see somehow the donkey got up in the tree to talk to the bird. That donkey's a good climber. So what now? The donkey, the goat, the pig, the cat, the dog, and the cow looked quizzically at the little bird. At last, he said, I cannot think of anything. Awkward silence, pawing the ground, ear wiggling, horn scratching. They're all thinking so hard. Suddenly, there was a, a deafening sound. Pop! What happened? What was that? Hello, said a pretty girl bird. I have come from very far away, and I'm looking for a friend, but I cannot find one. Can you help me? Yay, they all cheered. The pig, the dog, the donkey, and the cat, uh, the goat. Did I leave anything out? And the little bird was all very, very happy. It almost looks like they threw confetti in the air. And that is how the little bird, who could not remember his song of spring, found not only one, but many friends. The end. That was a fun little story, wasn't it? I love that, how the bird was just looking for one friend, but ended up with a whole tree full of friends. The pig, the donkey, the goat, the cow, the cat. How did they all get up in that tree? Well, thanks for being part of story time today, friends. And before you go, let's have a prayer together. Gracious Lord, we thank you for this day. 
for the flowers that you are growing and for the green and for the, the warm air and the birds that are chirping, calling out to each other. Lord, may we also call out to each other so that we may gather friends around us uh, in, the, in the safe as a way as we can and uh, delight in another spring day. We pray all this in the name of Jesus, our Lord and Savior. Amen. Thank you so much, boys and girls. Have a wonderful day. And I will see you next week.